Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss factors and remainders. A factor is a number. When it is substituted into the equation, it will give us a perfect zero. So that means if we take a constant, if we substitute it into a more complex expression, we will get zero. Let us take an expression that you are familiar with x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now had I told you to factorize this, you tell me it's x plus 3, x plus 2. Had we made it an equation, you'd have told me that x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to minus 2. This is the norm. This is what you would do from grade 10 from grade 9 in some cases, where you would simply solve for the unknown. But let us do something different. Let's take this minus 3 and substitute it in the following expression. So I have x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now if I substitute minus 3 into this expression, look at what we get. A perfect zero. Let's take another number. Let's make x equal to minus 1. Now when you factorized it and when you solve for x, x is equal to minus 1 was not a solution. So we have 1 minus 5 plus 6 which gives me 7 minus 5 which is equal to 2. What you should notice is that when you substitute a factor which is a solution then you would get 0. But when you substitute a number that is not a factor then you are getting an answer which is not equal to 0 but rather it is giving you a remainder. Now there's two things you need to realize. Number one, when you substitute and it's equal to zero, then that number is a factor. Second, when you substitute and it is not equal to zero, then it is not a factor. And the answer is a remainder. Why would this be beneficial to us? What is the purpose of this? When you're doing complex sums, let's take for example 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now, I want a factor for this expression. You can go and you can try various numbers like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Those are common numbers that you would try if you substitute in here. One of them, maybe even two of them, when you substitute will, will equal to 0. That means that is a factor of the expression. Now, let us substitute minus 2 and see what happens. We get an answer, minus 84. This tells us immediately that minus 2 is not a factor. Let us try 2. Now, if we substitute a 2, we get 0. Which immediately tells us, if x is equal to 2, then that is a factor of the expression 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 3x plus 2. So if we were to make x equal to 2 into an expression it will become x minus 2. x minus 2 so what did I do? I took the 2 over trying to create an expression x minus 2 is a factor 
of the cubed. Now, you need to understand that the whole aim is to look for factors. The reason for this is because you're going to be working with x cubed functions. Now, you need to factorize x to the power of 3. Equations that are x to the power of 3, you need to factorize them. And in order to factorize them, you need to have their factors before you can start. Thank you for watching.